Hey YouTubers, Chad back here with you with another uh, video. Uh, this time I'm going to be reviewing, as you see there, the uh, Ford Expedition EL Emergency Series from uh, River Point Station. I am totally addicted to these guys. These guys pull out all the stops on all their vehicles that they produce, all the uh, Ford product line. Uh, looking forward to some of the newer releases coming out a little bit later on this year and next year from these guys. But uh, by far, hands down, these are the most detailed models uh, in 187th scale that I've seen in a long time, besides the Boley trucks. Um, I am sold on these guys. Any vehicle that they put out, I'm going to be purchasing because uh, I'm just a big fan of these guys. The awesome detail that they do on each vehicle. and uh, So really excited to uh, take a look at these Expedition Emergency Series. Uh, of course, I've got the uh, normal standard version of the uh, Expeditions, just the street package and all that. Got a couple of these nice, nice vehicles. I can't exactly express them enough how nice these are. <laughs> Um, and the nice thing about these are that they're customizable. Yeah, they're all held together by friction. So you can, uh, if you want to change out wheels or anything like that, you can change out the wheels on them. These, again, are just uh, straight out of the package. I opened up a couple of them. This is the one I'm going to use for reference. And then I'm going to show you one that I've decaled up for my police department here on my layout. First off, let's uh, get down to the nitty gritty. Uh, stop lights, or excuse me, spotlights on both sides of the vehicle. Hopefully, the camera will focus here in just a second. There we go. Uh, spotlights on the A pillars on the driver's side and passenger side. Two scale, in my opinion. Nice push bumper with uh, emergency LEDs in the uh, center bracket there. You can see them, four of them. Uh, nice detailed light bar up top. Uh, present uh, modern day light bar um, let's see if I can get a little bit closer there we go and uh, nice detail uh, everything all printing and everything is just almost perfect a nice Ford logo right there enough room to put a uh, license plate if you can get some 187 decals for license plates and again I'll show you all this on the uh, finished model that I've done of this um, but again, there's an up close of the four LED uh, emergency lights in the uh, push bumper there and the uh, spotlights. But again, nice crisp paint job on these. Uh, no overruns or anything like that. And again, they are completely customizable. If you want to swap out these wheels for different wheels, uh, they're held together by friction bearing. Just be careful when you pull them apart. Uh, they do break, but uh, if you do it gently, you can uh, get them off there and you can swap out wheels. Uh, nice undercarriage, a little bit of detail. I'll probably uh, paint it up a little bit underneath there for uh, detail on that, but uh, I'm very, very impressed with River Point Station and uh, their line of the Ford vehicles. Um, they do an excellent job on uh, their uh, service trucks, railroad trucks, uh, everything. I can't express this enough. If you're a big fan of 187th Vehicles River Point Station, if you haven't bought a River Point Station vehicle, do it. Easily, easily kit bashable too. I've uh, taken a Bully ambulance body and a River Point Station extended cab truck. I had a buddy of mine, James Steiner, who does all my custom work. He basically uh, kit bashed this for me and now I'm going to make a uh, ambulance out of it. I primered it all gray. I got to uh, yeah, put the lights back in and everything else, but uh, it came out to be a nice uh, looking ambulance here that uh, I'm going to uh, finish putting together here in a couple of days and get it out on the layout. But uh, easily kit bashable, again, all these uh, nice accessories. Uh, they have, uh, if you don't particularly, if you want a colored light bar, they have uh, light bars that you can get that are colored. Uh, I wish this would focus better here uh, for you guys to see. And of course it's not because it's picking up the cars here in the background. But anyways, uh, they got uh, s several different uh, models of light bars for you, customizable. And they've got toolboxes, ladder racks. Uh, they're currently out of production, but they plan on bringing those back here shortly. Um, and again, Riverpoint Station, in my opinion, one of the best... Uh, 187th vehicle manufacturers out there easily customizable uh, can pretty much add any decals speaking of decals let's take a look at the one that uh, Riverpoint Station vehicle that I've already customized 
And uh, here it is. I took the uh, Las Vegas police decals and I put it on this black and white scheme. Of course, this is not the correct Las Vegas decals uh, and paint job, but I mean, it is the correct decals for my uh, layout. Uh, this is the police fleet that I'm going to use for my uh, layout here now that I got these vehicles. Let me move around here to uh, the back side and I'll show you what I did. Put some decals on there and even a license plate like I talked about. Um, so I mean very very nice work from River Point Station. There's the light bar again and like I said you can make these out to be anything you want them to be. Uh, so I'm pretty stoked about these and once again thumbs up to River Point Station again looking forward to uh, the newer models that they're going to be releasing later on this year with uh, more of the uh, extended cab trucks and uh, some other vehicles too. Uh, only one minor little complaint. I wish River Point Station would uh, do some more manufacturers like Dodge and Chevrolet other than Ford and maybe they will. Maybe they will. Hopefully they will. Um, don't get me wrong, I like the Fords, but I uh, just like a little bit more variety on the layout than uh, just Ford. I like Dodge and Chevy and, you know, pretty much anything else. Um, also, I wanted to quick kind of talk to you about uh, this uh, right here, what I use for ballast. Um, of course, you got the Woodland Scenics, uh, coarse ballast and fine ballast. And what I found, bless her soul, my uh, girlfriend and I went to a craft store here in town the other day and uh, she wanted to get some stuff. She makes jewelry, so she wanted to get some stuff. So I decided to wander around and I stumbled across this decorative sand. Now this decorative sand is what is right here and it is perfect. It's in between the coarse and the fine, so it's about a medium and it's just perfect. This is the color I was looking for too. Um, and believe it or not, this was like a buck ninety nine compared to like uh, Right there, eleven ninety nine, but that's at Hobby Lobby. You can get it cheaper, like nine ninety nine or whatever else. But a uh, dollar ninety nine for a thirty two ounce bag of this stuff, and of course, this is the thirty two ounce shakers. But uh, yeah, I couldn't go wrong, and I'm very, very impressed with uh, this decorative sand. I believe that's how I'm going to ballast my whole layout. And of course, as you can see, I don't have the yard ballast just yet, but I will be working on that here shortly. Now that I've finally got uh, this nice ballast down here. And uh, works perfect with the uh, glue mix mixture and uh, water mixture. I ballast this uh, piece of track here just to see what it would look like and make sure everything uh, lines up right. And I'm impressed with this. I uh, decorative sand. I got this at Joanne Fabrics. I don't know if you got a decorative or uh, Joanne Fabrics anywhere around where you guys are, but uh, if you can find this, it works excellent. Um, of course, I'm going to keep this. You know, I'll probably do my yard in this, but my main line is going to be ballast with this. So, uh, pretty excited and stoked about all that. Um, that pretty much wraps up my video for now. Um, thanks for watching, guys, and uh, I'll probably be doing another update here shortly. But until then, uh, have fun with your uh, model railroading.